Now, let's add some columns to our, inside our student's table. So in here, as you guys can see, I already have two column types. One is ID, another one is time stamps. The ID is our primary key and the time stamps will create two columns inside our table. One is created, add, and another one is updated, add. These two columns will be added by Laravel time stamp column type. But before this, if you want to know more about the col available column types in Laravel, you can go to the, document, the official Laravel documentation in here, database, then select migrations, and you can see all the co available column types in here. So we have boolean, card, long text, string. As you guys can see, we have a very big list of column types in here, which will we will not cover in this tutorial because it will take a lot of time. You guys can find it in here and test it any column types you want. For example, in here we have a string, takes, car, long takes, double, float, id, increment. If you click on any of them, it will take you there and it will give you the definition. So let's go back to our project in here. Let's create a new column in here. So let's type table string and we will add the name of students so we will type student then let's add another column and the type should be also a string and this time email then we will add the age of student this time the data column type is integer so we will type table then we will type integer and we will say age now, let's uh, run our migrations again to create this table inside our database. So let's go to our terminal. Let's clear this one and type php artisan migrate. Okay, before this, let's delete this migration because we don't need this one. Let's delete this one. We only going to keep this one. So let's press enter. So our migration is finished successfully. Now if we go to inside our database and refresh in here, as you guys can see, I have a new table with the name of a student. And if I open this, I have three columns with the name of name, email and age. Now let's uh, see the type of this. Let's right click and select alter table. And in here, as you guys can see, the name is worker. This email is also worker. And the age is int. Then created at and updated at are both of these two columns are created using the timestamp. And ID is also our primary key.